All right, here's everything that I need to fix the installation of those infab side steps. A couple pieces of steel that I'm going to use for reinforcing where I'm bolting into the body. Definitely a whole pack of hardware. I'm likely to use all the M8 stuff. It's grade 8 metric. So it should hold a lot better than the stupid carriage bolts that came with the thing. Drills, angle grinder, some rusty metal primer. And then once I got these cut to size to how I want them, I'll, I'll prime them up. I'll seal things up with some black silicone and a case of undercoating when I'm all done with all that. Well, yeah. Let's see. I'll show you exactly what I got in mind here and how I intend to make these things actually stay on the truck a lot more solidly than they are right now. They move around way too much. Hear that squeakiness. Oh yeah, let's get to it. Alright, we're going to need access underneath the sill plates, and fun enough, GM made sure that's very difficult here. Freaking sun, get out of my way. Oh, no, my shadow's in the way, deal with it. Um, to do that, you have to remove this whole seatbelt deal, which takes the Torx bit back there. So that's got to come out of the way just so I can remove that. Not so hard back here. Just three screws to remove that sill plate, and I should have access to it. I'm not sure if the other landing plate comes down behind this trim, but this just snaps off easy enough too. Yet another reason why you have to remove that seat belt. So yeah, let me get to it. Same exact situation this side. Can you see in there? Can I get the shot? Nope. But you rip off this little cover, which gives you access. Um, this is my cheating. I had to get up there. I got me a new lithium ion driver, impact driver, but I'll start with this just to get it undone because these suckers for the seat belts are tight and I think you'd want them to be right well, yeah let me get this done all right so back here you have no wire trace coming through here however up front you do have this whole cable chase coming I'm not sure if I trust myself for staying out of that or it's held on by that bolt should be another one somewhere probably in here And no, just that one bolt. Well, that's probably not the way it's supposed to be. Should probably be held down by another bolt right there, I bet. Looks like there's a spot for one. But yeah, I may need to remove this, get it out of the way so I can drill in and do the hardware. It's just a simple wire chase. I've got, I've got factory wiring coming in for various things. Um, and then the speakers, I don't know, some of it's lighting. Why it doesn't chase through there, I don't know. Maybe I gotta move this out of the way. I think I got the same thing on the other side. Move that out of the way so I can execute my plan of reinforcing this thing and making it solid to the body. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna only show this process on one side in depth or in detail where I actually tell you, talk you through it. But obviously you got one foot here. It's gonna land right in here for a couple bolts. The other foot sits right here so at least it's out here where it's easy to get to the third foot is right here relatively easy to get to so two up front which is good because that's you know normally where adults are stepping and then one in the rear and you saw those plates already cut out i'm going to use those as reinforcement for this um, i'll show you how that's done in a second so yeah i got that pulled out of the way which means from the bottom side i can pilot drill up into this and figure out where my drill is <sighs> Big holes need to be drilled. Oh, look at that. I made some money today. Um, 
I was watching Milk Crate 82. Check out his channel. He's got a pretty cool old classic 80s Chevy that he's built. Low rider truck, not 4x4 truck. Pretty dang cool street truck. But he was complaining about how much he hates having to drill from underneath. And I was thinking when I was watching that, oh, what's the problem with that? Until I started drilling from underneath when I was putting these bars on. It sucks. Metal shards everywhere. Wish I had a shop vac too, because holy crap, look at this. That's dirty in there. Um, some other day I'll get to it. But yeah, let's get down to this. Let's, i got to climb under there and start drilling holes. I'll catch you in a second. Well, that's going to be expensive. Everything I was trying not to do, I freaking hit an air conditioning line. I'm losing all my coolant right then and there. Golly. Thought I was staying out of the way. Guess not. Alright, now you can start getting an idea of what I'm going after here. You see the, the brown pieces of steel that I just hit up with some rusty metal primer. Should be enough for what I'm going to do next, but you can see I also went through the floorboards there, the sill plate. Two pieces of grade 8 hardware on each of these mounting brackets. So now there's four pieces of grade 8 hardware on there. You can see up here pretty close. So down at the bottom of the sill plate, which then ends up deforming your whole bottom of your rocker and up there at the sill plate inside the cab and now there ain't much in the way of wobble on this thing and it should hold it more I'm gonna put two more pieces there in each one of those so there'll be four in through the sill plate to give it a, a little bit more rigidity and strength I'm just trying to make it last as long as possible and I'm a little bit worried that on the inside <clears throat> Bear with me there that on the inside it's gonna These bolts will be in the way of putting this wire track back. We'll see if it is or isn't I don't know But yeah, so this one one more here one more here And this one was one more here and one more here. I think or was it back? It's back far that way. I'll look again But anyway, which I try to get three or four bolts in each of the ones here two down on the sills and now That's nice and solid doesn't wobble all right, I'm gonna get back at it. All right, so there's four in there, and the nice thing is this tray floats above them, so that's not gonna interfere with that at all. Get right back to where it was mounted, right there. See that hole, and it floats above the nuts, so this will fit together nicely again. Just wish I had a shop back to get all those metal filings out of there. I'll do that some other day if I ever remember it. Now they may not be neat and tidy and all in an exact row, but they're in there and they're on tight. They're grade 8 hardware. Four pieces for that eighth inch steel. Should buttress this up a whole lot better. Spread out the load a little bit for when a 200 pound adult like me steps on this thing. It's definitely stiffened everything up. So that's a lot more grade 8 hardware, a little bit more steel. Now, let's seal it off. I know I live in a desert, it's Utah. But, same point anyhow. It's the Rocky Mountains, salt and weather and everything else going on. I want it sealed off inside and out, so I'm going to do it on the inside. Button all this up and hit it from the outside. Alright, I'm going to get to it. Alright, there it is. All buttoned up and back together. Nice and tight. Now it'll actually work like I think it should. Just need to get underneath and seal underneath with the caulking gun, but... i got the truck back together now. So I got to do the other side. I've been I went to this side because that stupid freaking air conditioning line I hit. I don't know how expensive those are going to be to replace. But I got this side pretty much totally done, other than caulking and undercoating. But yeah, the steps are in. They're in solid. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys. And if if anybody out there actually gets these infabs for theirs, helps you figure out how you should install them. Not how they thought they should from their cheap factory, but. How to make them solid, this is it, at least my way. Alright, I'm gonna get back to it. Alright, passenger side is gone much the same, but there is no way that is gonna get in there. We got one bolt on the other side. Precariously done, but it's in. And it's just not there's there's just not gonna happen. I'm I'm not gonna drill through that. I do have the bolt up there and over there on the top side. That's something in the suspension squeaking. This bar is freaking solid on there. And I've already punctured enough holes and enough lines. I think I'm going to leave these alone. I don't think I'll go for a second. 
for a second one. I think I'll leave them be. Just the two in here. Thread locker, lock washers. That's belts and suspenders for you. That should do it. Should hold it. But yeah, I'm going to seal this up and then put the truck back together and then it's not coolant I hit, it's actually antifreeze. It was, runs all the way back to the back, so that's a bigger problem than just coolant. So I'll be taking this truck to somebody else to have somebody replace those lines for me because I just, what a pisser. So these NFAB bars, if you're going to buy them, you're going to fight them. So this is probably a pretty good way to fight them. That one had to get sucked in pretty dang tightly. This whole bracket, the middle bracket, was just badly done. This one was pretty good and neat, but you notice it did still... It did some warping of this rocker panel. Just suck those in tight, but then... And you put those plates in there, it gives it a little bit more to press against. And that sucked up a lot of the distance, but it didn't suck up any distance here, because, I mean, it... To stop that warping, I probably would have had to go with a piece of steel twice as thick as that uh, brown primed one I did. Well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the caulking and stuff. Probably cut it out from here because you see with that. I don't know, maybe you didn't see. I don't care. I'm just caulking all the edges, and then later I'll come back and I've got those six cans of six cans of uh, undercoating, and I'm gonna hit all of this with an undercoating pretty good. Yeah, there's my solution. Now I've got four bolts holding this thing in. The other side, six each, each station. I'm looking at this. This is pretty freaking solid. I'm going to hang on and it's it's not moving, so now that should do the trick. Yeah. I don't know. I might. I don't know. Maybe I will still drill in and put the other bolts in. I'm just debating that one. I don't want to hit another freaking line but of course I've already destroyed one so what's the point all right any which way I'm gonna cut it off here I'm gonna finish this up you've seen what I've done to fix this so if you're interested in these NFAB bars or you've already got some and you're trying to figure out how to make them work this is my solution it may not be the only one but it's the one I took but uh, yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one